welcome or welcome back to the traveling marketer we are doing another haul and raise your hand if you like linen it is one of my favorite materials outside of the fact that it creases a lot in it but i love it because it is so well number one it is a natural fiber it's breathable it's so chic and it's the perfect stylish material for spring and summer which are two of my favorite seasons we are doing a dish haul as you would have seen in the title dish is an australian brand they are based in queensland and i wish they had a cd store i literally recommend dish to everyone that i know i love all of the clothing i love all of the pieces that i have bought from them but there are still some things that are worth noting and we will cover that today i will do a try on haul I'm wearing one right now and I will show you guys how the fit compares to myself and the model all right so I was tippy toeing the whole time and it wasn't sustainable so I adjusted the lens a little bit a couple of these things I bought from late last year then they also had a good boxing day sale so I have combined them I've been following this for a while but I was waiting for a summer before I finally take the plunge to test the fit and quality I bought these three things first so the dress that I am wearing the shorts and this crop top they were all on sale when I bought it so that is perfect let's have a look let's start with this dark brown maxi dress I actually didn't have anything that is dark brown and I really like it because it's not like black it still absorbs heat but it's still not like your typical black this is the maxi dress it's a pop sleeve it goes oh you can see my red slippers but it goes all the way down my ankle as you can see and I stand five feet and two inches so to give you an idea but you can always have that altered and it's a uh, empire is it empire cut when it goes the where it connects right here is an elastic as you can see that's right down where my breasts are and it's also a backless so it's elastic all the way around and so you can see you can either wear like a nipple tape if you want or just let the nipple free yeah so that's what you that's what you do so uh, I have we've gone out for lunch today and it has creased a lot I don't know if you can see it this is a problem when you're short <laughs> I love it because it's it's got lining as well that's what I really like about this I'm racing my <laughs> outfit there but yeah there's lining in there that's also dark brown the one thing the one thing here is the puff sleeve is usually very hard to iron I hate it it's such a trend right now for summer in Australia but it's the most annoying thing to iron but this one is actually not so bad because of how big the fluffy sleeve is however you'll see here right that it folds right here in the middle of the top part and I think it's because depending how narrow your back is the moment you tie it up it then becomes tight in the back and pulls in here I'll show you a photo as well of how the model worn it and if you look really closely you'll notice that it happens on her as well and I didn't pick that up until I finally bought it and worn it myself the next thing that I bought from them is this light brown crop top you would have seen this in one of our vlogmas videos and you can wear it in different ways as in you can tie up this ribbon in different ways you can tie it up at the back so it's a full open back but obviously this is the only thing that keeps it together or you can tie it up like I do where it's wrap around over in front and I will tell you why I do that it's because you really have to be very careful about the under boob like maybe you can even see it right now so you, at least for me depending on your depending on your chest situation you need to be really careful it's off shoulder as you can see so there's elastic up the top and elastic down the bottom as well it is the wider elastic up the top and then a smaller thinner elastic in the bottom part of the sleeve and speaking of sleeve you can see how creased that is because I've given up ironing it properly I just put like steam over it because it is such a freaking pain this time we're going to cover the shorts this is a dark brown as well so very similar to the maxi dress it is thinner I feel like this is quality and I will tell you why and I'll talk through it later as well some of their labeling and packaging changed through time I feel like their quality has changed for the better but anyway these shorts are really nice in terms of the color but what I don't like about it is that there is no pocket I have complained about this in my Instagram story as well so you would have seen that maybe if you're following me if not say hello on Instagram and it's really stupid how why is there a pocket design but there isn't 
different actually. I like the pleats. It makes it a bit more formal from a short perspective. But I find that, well, this is a size small, size 8. And the last time I wore it was just before Christmas. And now that it's post-Christmas, it was definitely holding on to dear life. It's definitely tight on the waist, but that's okay. And it has gone, I've worn, I think I've washed it twice. So the first time I bought it and after the first time I've worn it. And you can see that it's already fading on the edges. So that color is definitely fading fast on the edges. So we don't like that. Now, this dress that I'm wearing is the catalyst of all my dish purchases. I've been seeing it as part of their aisle wedding edit, which is really beautiful and you can still wear it on an everyday anyway at least i would and i really loved it i've been seeing it and i thought you know what i really like that and i just need an excuse to finally buy it and then so the wedding that we're attending in phuket real soon has a welcome dinner and the dress code is white <laughs> don't worry why are you wearing white the wedding so the dress code for the welcome dinner is white so i thought this is perfect i found my excuse to buy it this is the only thing that i bought from dish at a full price but it has been quite a stressful journey to get to this purchase i bought this one at a size eight because everything else that i bought from them are an eight or a small and i i don't know i usually and this was it was a lesson learned i ever since then i would always look at returns policy and the size guide you can't always get it perfect but you know at least have a look and do read up on what the size guides are here's the store this is big right but when i bought the eight you zip it up on the side and when that eight there's about this this much of a gap and i can't zip it all with the way up so it was obviously too small for the chest and so i returned it and unfortunately with this you actually have to pay for your own return so as a buyer you pay the return fee and i understand that a lot of smaller businesses do that don't like it but you know you gotta do what you gotta do and so i bought a size 12. so this one that i'm wearing right here is a size 12 haven't ironed it because i'm actually gonna have it altered but it's a size 12. I didn't go at 10 because I didn't want to double pay this fee again just in case it doesn't fit. And I had a look at their measurements and based on that, the chest area is the right fit. And I'm just going to have it altered for the waist because you can see it's slightly, it's definitely bigger in saying that. When I bought this in December before Christmas, it was only slightly bigger, but now it feels like it's just enough breathing room in there. But you can see it, it's moving as I move, so you definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna have it altered and just so to make it a bit more snug in the waist, and I'll show you. So we just definitely want it a bit tighter in here, so probably just about half an inch. And then obviously in the waist as well, make it a little bit more snug, but we can keep, and then we'll just cut some on the cute little skirt as well all right there's a lot of information on this particular dress because there's actually quite a fair bit of details in here that i'd like to go through to give you a bit of background why i love linen back in november 2020 i stopped buying synthetic materials outside of swimwear and active wear those two things i still buy synthetic sometimes but if i can find recycled poly or anything like that i do so i was quite disappointed when i saw that some in some of the clothing at dish it's 100% linen, but the lining is rayon. So I was like, oh, okay, but lesser evil, I know. But I find that they're, like this one is 100% all linen. I find that the newer pieces are actually 100% linen. As I talked about, the packaging has changed, the label. So I feel like their quality has gone up through time, which is good. This dress is actually now on sale as well, if you guys wanna have a look. All right, so what are the specs of the dress? So there's actually a maxi version of this, which is more straight, and this flowy princess-like, which obviously for my frame and for my height is better suited for me. It's a tie-up, and I didn't tie it up properly, so you just like, you can make it lower if you want or higher, but you just tie it up on both sides, and there's a zip on the side and it's all white it has a bone in the upper section so a bone in these two sides right here and then the bottom part of the skirt actually has a i don't know what it is but it, it's it's thicker down here so there's a material inside to make it look really flowy and it's like a princess cut type and then it got, it's got a white lining as well. And it's got pockets. <laughs> That's really bad. But yeah, it's got pockets as well, which is always handy for us 
women. So the next two pieces are some of the things that I have purchased from their Boxing Day sale. So that's my third batch of purchase from Dish. And I've been so keen to film this because I've tried them on obviously, but before at least since the pandemic. And you should, not only because of the pandemic, wash your clothes brand new before wearing them because it's just hygienic to do so. Read about it and you would be like, oh yeah, I should have done that a long time ago. So this is the blue top, 100% linen. Everything here from then on is a size small. The intent for this top is to be more of a cover-up. Change that angle a little bit. You'll see that it's a big polo. It's meant to be big. It comes with a matching bucket hat and also shorts, I believe. So let's go through the specs. There's no lining for this one. It's a bottom down all the way from the top to the bottom. And you'll see that it's actually one of those elastic hooks for the buttons which could get really annoying. I've only bought it. <laughs> That's why I've only bought it once in the middle. And then there is, it's, it's a collared shirt. It's got two pockets, real pockets. That is it. I'm just wearing a white lacy bra right now to dress it up. You could tuck that in as you can see to make it a bit more stylish, but I'm loving it. You'll see in the back that it's still very loose. Another beach cover up and it's actually my first tunic top. One again, 100% linen and it has a lining this time. So it goes all the way from my top all the way down the middle of my waist. So it's like a mini dress, but I am wearing it with my uh, pajama pants as well. And you'll see that it has a cutout in the middle. This detail is I really like that detail. So it's a gold ring and it comes on, on both sides as well. But it just what connects it is a zip up all the way. So it's just like, can you imagine? Oh, I'm wearing the white lace bra, but with a white bikini that is going to look so chic. Another top that I got from Dish. This one is semi crop top and it goes all the way up there. My pajamas obviously are high waist. Again, similar to the maxi dress. Big puffy sleeve. I haven't ironed it, but I reckon it'll be relatively easy to iron as well because that's pretty much the size of the iron. I like the smaller one that I got. And this one is really good because it's elastic all the way. All right, so elastic all the way through the back. It does become tight putting it on around the neck because that is not elastic the bottom is but i am a i'm a bit of a double d to an e in the chest so i need that room so if you like that room in the chest area this is a good choice all right so this is another white crop top this is an actual crop top that will actually show some skin but unlike the light brown one that i showed you it does sit right under the breast it's got an elastic down the bottom which is a smarter idea so it doesn't pull all the way up and would then flash everyone so i like that it is slightly harder to put on though because it's not an elastic through and through so you'll see that it's only an elastic on a part of the back but the sides aren't so as i put it on i can hear like some stitches snap Thing, so you just got to be really careful with that but similarly puffy sleeves big as well which will make it easier to iron but it's perfect for summer it's really airy it's really cool so soft as well the lining so it's, it's not itchy their price range is roughly 70 to 100 to 200 and some pieces but if you wait for sale like the shorts that i wore that's as low as 30 bucks so if you wait for the right time then you can definitely get it at a lower price and to be honest frankly speaking i think for the quality of their pieces it is more on that their sale price point everything that i've bought from them are, are on sale except for that white dress because i really wanted it for something they are not shitty quality like some of those made in china that you would see in some stores and those th things are like 10 20 30 40 dollars right so that's they're not really pretending to be anything else and similarly with them they're not pretending to be a, a couture dress so you'll see some loose threading and all that but they have lining they're good they're still better than your relatively cheap material so it could last you longer and it doesn't have to be hand washed as well so i'd still recommend but my recommendation is to get them on sale that is it you guys if you enjoyed that you can see some more haul videos up here make sure that you share it to your friends and do subscribe for more if you haven't yet we'll see you again next time Goodbye.